everybody, it's Dr Jarvis here and your teachers have asked me to help out with your Fire of London project. Now, because we're going to do an experiment with fire today, we need to keep ourselves safe. And I'm sure your teachers have already told you that whenever you do anything with fire, you must always have an adult with you. So please do not do any of what I'm about to do today at home. I've made sure that I'm nice and safe. I've got my lab coat on, so should I have any little accidents, my clothes and my skin will be protected. I've also tied my hair back because I have long hair. It might fall into the flame and I don't want that to happen. I quite like my hair the way it is. So the experiment we're going to do today will look at whether fire needs oxygen or not. All around us in the air, there are lots of different chemicals and oxygen is the important one for both us and might be for fire as well. So I've got in front of me a heat proof mat because I don't want to damage the bench. I've got a little tea light, which I'm going to light using matches. And I've got a few different sizes of jar that we can experiment with. So I've got one little tiny one, which once I've lit the candle, we'll put over the top and see how long the candle burns for. I've got a medium sized jar, which we will do the same thing with. And then I thought we'd have a bit of fun. So my last one is an absolutely huge jar. So make your predictions. What do you think is going to happen?